The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 22, verses 1 to 14. Jesus began to speak to the chief priests and elders of the people in parables. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a feast for his son's wedding. He sent his servants to call those who had been invited, but they would not come. Next, he sent some more servants. Tell those who have been invited, he said, that I have my banquet all prepared, my oxen and fatted cattle have been slaughtered. Everything is ready. Come to the wedding. But they were not interested. One went off to his farm, another to his business, and the rest seized his servants, maltreated them and killed them. The king was furious. He dispatched his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burned their town. Then he said to his servants, The wedding is ready, but as those who were invited proved to be unworthy, go to the crossroads in the town and invite everyone you can find to the wedding. So these servants went out on to the roads and collected together everyone they could find bad and good alike, and the wedding hall was filled with guests. When the king came in to look at the guests, he noticed one man who was not wearing a wedding garment, and said to him, How did you get in here, my friend, without a wedding garment? Then the man was silent. Then the king said to the attendants, Bind him hand and foot and throw him out into the dark, where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, Today's readings remind us of God's promise to restore and renew His own people. In Ezekiel, we hear of a new heart and a new spirit, while in Matthew's Gospel, we are invited to the wedding feast of the king's son. As we reflect on these readings, let us turn to Mary, Mother and Queen. She embodies the renewal and restoration we hear about today. Her fiat, let it be done to me according to your word as in Luke chapter 1, verse 38, opens a heart to receive the new life of Christ. Mary's example teaches us to surrender to God's will, allowing Him to transform us from within. As a mother, she guides us in this journey of renewal, interceding for us before the throne of her son. As queen, Mary reigns alongside Christ, symbolizing the church's ultimate triumph. Her queenship reminds us of our own royal dignity as children of God called to participate in Christ's 
kingdom. Let us ask Mary to obtain for us the grace to surrender to God's will, to be renewed in heart and spirit, and to take our place at the wedding feast of the Lamb. Let us make a small prayer to our Lord through the intercession of our dear Mother, Mary, Mother of God, our Mother and Queen, pray for us that we may receive a new heart and a new spirit. Intercede for us that we may be renewed in God's love and take our place at the wedding feast of your Son. Amen.